Hello and welcome, my fellow main characters. My name is Bam. Welcome back to the channel for another video. Today, guys, we're not really blah 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 blah. Today, guys, we're not getting into anything really crazy today. Today, um, I just want to update you guys on life. You guys saw the thumbnail. You guys saw the title. We're just doing an update video today, and I just want to share with you guys some things that's been going on in my life some big changes and things. I probably have alluded to some of those changes on the channel. And I just want to kind of share that with you guys because for me, at least how I like to run my channel, I like to run it very personally, you know, not like on the super levels of case and nice stuff vlogging where I show you my whole life and everything, but more so in terms of, I like you, I like us to be on the same page in terms of my content and in terms of where I want to go with the channel, what I'm doing, because, you know, I feel like when you decide to subscribe to a person's channel, like for example, you guys subscribe to my channel, which I greatly appreciate, um, you get invested in the person's channel, you get invested in the content they're producing, um, potentially the journey that they're on. I'm not like a Netflix or Hulu and I just produce content. I'm like, here guys, just check it out. I'm more like produce content, but I want to hear you guys feedback and try it in the comment section uh, when I finish with a, a particular anime live reaction I like to engage you guys see what type of animes you guys are watching see if you know I could bring it to the channel or maybe I take some time to watch it for myself and make us a, a video on it personally like let's get into the updates I kind of have for you guys so the first update guys Is that I moved? Hey! <laughs> I think I probably alluded to it in my Afro Samurai live reactions I've been doing, but I've moved. Um, got my own place. It's my very first own place where I'm paying real rent and stuff. And um, I live with I live with my roommate, like one of my closest friends from college. And me and him have our me and him are having like a really cool time uh, living together and like doing this whole adulting thing. Uh, you know, it's not too fun to pay rent and bills and utilities and all that, but in terms of the freedom and access and everything, that's super cool and awesome. Um, so yeah, we recently moved to this place and just been spending so much time getting it set up. I'll just, you know, show you guys a little bit around. It's not too crazy. I got some light set up. I like the lighting, lighting situation I got going on. I got TV, my Nintendo Switch. I still got to add artwork and stuff to the walls to get it the way, um, the way I want it, but yeah, moved. Okay, the second update for you guys, the second thing that kind of happened in my life is a little bit of a downer, but there's a silver lining in every situation. But the second thing that happened is I recently got robbed, um, where I won't go into too much details about the specifics of the robbing, um, but the individual ended up taking my laptop, taking my debit card and taking my headphones. Now, I don't mind really losing my debit card because easy can replace that. I don't mind losing my headphones, can easily replace that. <sighs> but my fellow main characters, what I tell you guys, losing my laptop stung, bro. <clears throat> it stung, not just because it's, you know, it's a laptop, it's an, it's an expensive piece of technology, but because of all of the work and stuff I put on that, man all of the projects and things I was working on, not just for YouTube, but for my, my job. Like, you know, I'm a front-end web developer. I work remotely. So like my livelihood is my laptop, is my ability to click, click, clack, clack, clack away. That happened a couple weeks ago and not even a couple, maybe two, maybe two weeks ago, man. And um, I, am, I will say I'm just now starting to bounce back from that in terms of rebuilding all of my projects and my assets um but it sucked yeah and it sucked losing all of that all of that work you know all that work for work and all that work for youtube man like there's so many videos that, <laughs> you know there are so many videos that i was working on and editing and so much video footage that i had that just poof gone now i'm getting better at backing up my work making sure i have backup files and stuff um, having things saved online and having external hard drives like I got the external hard drive right here and just backing up my work for work and for YouTube. So a small little point to that is that uh, 
I lost episode three for Afro Samurai. So what happened is I fully reacted to episode three of Afro Samurai. Enjoyed it. Loved the episode. Afro versus Afro. Amazing. <sighs> Edited the video and didn't get a chance to upload it. You know, lost my laptop during that time. And so episode three is lost. And here's my thing when it comes to doing reactions. I don't like doing reactions twice because the fun of doing a reaction, the fun of making a reaction video is the initial reaction, the initial response that comes from recording the content and then reliving that initial reaction through editing the content and just adding humor and graphics and effects to it to add to basically emphasize the reaction a lot more re-watching an episode redoing a reaction i don't know about you guys but when i watch content creators that redo a reaction i appreciate the effort i appreciate the effort but me personally Blech. I hate, I don't enjoy it whatsoever because it just doesn't feel genuine anymore. It doesn't feel impactful anymore. Like I totally have full respect to co other content creators that decide to do that. But for me personally, my enjoyment of doing an episode over again. Blech. So unfortunately guys, Afro Samurai episode three is gone in terms of a reaction for it. But we still have episodes four and five. So look forward to those. And I'll probably give a little bit of disclaimer when I'm doing episode four, because I know there's a good chance that a lot of people that watch my Afro Samurai live reactions probably won't watch this video, you know? Um, but yeah, episode three of Afro Samurai is gone. There's so much other content is gone. Um, and it was sad, but the silver lining that I'm taking from this, <clears throat> or the positive side that I'm taking from this is kind of trying to be like a phoenix you know what i mean trying to be like a phoenix and kind of be reverted reverted is that the right word re, re reborn <laughs> reborn <laughs> i kind of took losing my stuff hard the first couple days but um a friend of mine uh shout out to my boy dr griffs who i do a podcast with called the village hidden and when the streets if you guys want to check it out that'll be linked down below in the description um but shout out to him he was like we were having a conversation and he was telling me like, yo, this could be a good time for you to kind of just try a bunch of different stuff, like rework some systems that you're working on, rework some ideas and uh, old things that you were doing because, <clears throat> you know, I've had so many assets that I've built and just reused over and over and over again. And now this is making me reevaluate those things, reevaluate those assets, reevaluate those ideas and rebuild it. And I already started with getting an upgraded uh, video editing software, already um, coming up with new ideas for how I want to approach and move with YouTube in terms of how I do my content. Um, you guys can already see in the background, like my lighting setup is kind of looking kind of saucy and nice, right? <laughs> so I'm already making some uh, changes and implementation to YouTube which allows me to move into the third update for you guys is becoming more focused on the channel with anime reactions, discussions, and vlogs, right? Um, I want to get more focused, you know what I mean? I want to get more zoned in and locked in in terms of the content I put on YouTube. I do kind of have this weird tendency sometimes where I'll have like a random thought about some random topic and just record a quick you know, video on my phone or something and just upload it and just share it. I do have that urge to share my ideas, but I don't feel like my specific YouTube channel is the place for me to share those thoughts and ideas, right? Of course, of course, I'll always feel inclined to share my opinion and stuff, but I want to get more zoned in in terms of what I really love and appreciate and what I originally wanted to do on YouTube, which was be a anime content creator so if i have opinions and thoughts in the future i'm going to reserve that 
and it's not really related to like anime and generally nerd culture in any way then once again guys go down in the link in the description connected to the village in the streets where me and my fellow co-host dr griffs just share our thoughts about a random bunch of stuff it could be about anime it could be about life events it could be about a whole bunch of things and i guys and i already know there's so many podcasts out there now right everybody and their mom's got a podcast so do not feel obligated do not feel pressured to um subscribe or anything like that you know if you check our channel check our library see if there's any video topics that seem interesting to you um watch one or two see if it fancies you and if it fancies you you know what to do hit that subscribe button that's it with that point in mind i'm most likely going to be pausing on the fitness content i'm still thinking about what i want to do with it because of course it's going to be anime fitness content if i'm going to do if i'm going to do fitness content it's going to be anime themed fitness content i just haven't decided yet if there's a place on my channel for it or if i should just create a whole separate channel specifically for anime fitness content because in itself that's kind of its own niche okay the fourth point and i think this is one of, this is one of the more fun points is if you guys check the channel right now and if you guys check the channel right now and you go to like the main page, you'll see a new channel art, a new channel banner. And if you read that, it's called Hype for All. And that is a new channel. I'm, you know, I'm still a little wiggly, wiggly woo about how if I want to change the channel name directly to Hype for All. Maybe I don't get like, maybe I don't get wet feet about it. And like by the time this video comes out, it is changed to Hype for All. Um, but right now my channel name is at least from recording this is bam the hype hero and i really like bam i really like bam what it represents because it's black all might um and i'll always want to hold on to that because that's it just it's it's reference to all might one of my favorite characters of all of anime i love what he represents and i just like the black all might bam representing what i want to portray to the world and as a youtuber right and i always kind of i always joked around with my brother and friends in terms of what my quirk would be and i won't go into like the technicalities of what my power would be which is a dope power which is a dope power um but the name of it has always been hype for all and that's kind of what i want this channel to represent hype for all the hype we have when we see intense epic anime scenes and uh nerdy stuff that we just find loving and awesome and amazing because don't get me don't keep it twisted i'm going to focus this primarily on anime but you might have some marvel and dc related content just slip in there you know doctor strange into the multiverse of madness is coming out real soon like real soon so your boy might talk about that a little bit you know what i mean yeah. <laughs> but primarily, I would say 90% of the time is going to be anime reactions, discussions, vlogs, and um, reviews. Um, and then the 10% of the time is going to be on like other nerdy stuff like Marvel and DC uh, movies and games that come out, you know. Um, but yeah, just talking about things that hype me up, things that I hopefully hype you up as well. And just sharing that with you guys and sharing my experience, it, experience of it. Um, and that's what hype for all means is like hype is basically the excited or more intense amplified version of hope and having hope for the future, having hype for things to come, man, there's to me, there's not many other feelings in the world that compare to just having hype for something to come in the future, man. Like hype is like, it just gives you a reason to just move forward and to, to live you know what i mean because there's something so exciting on the horizon to to look forward to and that's what i kind of want this channel to represent hype for all you know what freak it i've committed to it this channel is gonna be called hype for all <laughs> and i'm just gonna be for me personally i'm just gonna be going by bam right and i'll be the main host of hype for all so the channel is hype for all but i me as a entity in it himself goes by bam okay <laughs> um but yeah guys uh that's pretty much all of the updates i want to share with you guys uh the final thing i kind of want to add to it is like a channel goal so for me right now i'm not too worried about subscribers at the moment because to me i feel like 
until I've got a consistent to uploading consistent videos and engaging with you guys on a regular basis and you guys can like rely upon me to do my part as a content creator, which is uploading content that is enjoyable for you guys. I don't think I'm going to be worried or concerned about. I'm not going to be worried or concerned about like button smacking, subscribe, subscribe button smacking to me. My goal for 2022 as a YouTube YouTuber is to make three videos per week and be consistent with that and for it to feel easy and chill for me. Right. So that's the goal. Three videos per week. Um, also locking in flame slash pressure vibe. So like for me, like if you guys have noticed on the channel art and even on the thumbnail, um, I'm going for this flame kind of vibe energy because, you know, I feel like flames hype this. There's like some connection happening there, right? Flames hype. You know what I mean? But anyways, my family characters, that is all I have for this um, update video. I thought it was going to be quicker than this, but we'll see how well editing me takes care of that. But um, yeah, I appreciate you guys sticking around. I appreciate you guys engaging the content and even watching this video that's not really related to anything really crazy but it's just about the overall channel and the direction we're going let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts and feelings about all the things i talked about and stuff you kind of are hyped for and looking forward to in the future um and always remember my fellow main characters that you are the main character of your own story my name is bam and i'm out